Hey guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 31 for gym management system in Django. And in this video, we are mainly going to work on the trainer dashboard. Okay, so till now we have created the only trainer login. But in this video, we will create the trainer dashboard. And we will also create the functionality for uh, the trainer can manage their profile. Okay, so these two things we are mainly going to do. And the additional things we will create that sidebar and other things like we have created in the our user panel okay so here you can see the trainer login okay so i have uh, opened uh, the admin panel in another browser and uh, uh, we have our uh, trainers okay and the trainer we have the username is ak okay and here is the password username is ak when i enter this it is redirecting on the trainer dashboard so let's create the trainer dashboard first so i'll go to the gym manage system main and we need url view and template okay so we will open the url first so here is the trainer login so i after the logout i will say trainer dashboard okay trainer dashboard and here is also okay now let's create the dashboard page okay so go here border app and go here and uh, we have this this kind of thing i'm copying this because i want to send html so this is uh, where the trainer login let's search trainer login so here it is trainer login here is the trainer login i will just i will just copy this thing okay so this is trainer okay let's check that that we are right something yes we are right something. okay so this is trainer trainer dashboard okay and in the trainer that in the trainer when we are login the trainer we are saving the data trainer login true okay so this is trainer dashboard and let's let's create the dashboard dot html okay html and let's create dashboard dot html so i'll go to the user i'll copy the dashboard i'll also copy the sidebar okay let's copy the dashboard in the trainer panel okay and let's copy the left sidebar in the trainer panel because we need both things okay so now we will open this both files and do some settings open and here we have a left sidebar in the left sidebar uh, this will be trainer dashboard okay and other things let's say this thing and other things i will say hash okay and after that we will change something so i will remove this okay when we when we done the functionality then we will apply these things okay and we don't need these things we will apply step by step so here is the things so we have dashboard and uh, we need profile also but we have currently defined the uh, currently defined uh, hashtag uh, hash link okay so this is dashboard this is profile okay and in the dashboard in the dashboard what we will do this will be a trainer left sidebar and in this we have some things like current package so we actually we don't need these things we need different things okay so currently i am going to just empty this uh, column okay let's empty the column so we have this kind of thing i'll remove this so where it is uh, let's see that uh, we have actually model this is in a model so that it is saying this so here we have a row and we have a one column let's see that now okay so after login i need to redirect here the trainer dashboard so it is saying that trainer template does not exist okay let's go to the views dot and here we need to define trainer slash dashboard refresh the page 
and it is reloading so here you can see that this is trainer dashboard okay so this is trainer dashboard and here we have a dashboard and here we have a profile so create so we have uh, created the dashboard but we are not we are nothing uh, we are not showing anything okay but we will show that how many assigned subscribers or you can say let's say uh, go to the assigned assigned subscriber okay and uh, we can say payments so when admin add the payments for the trainers you can see the transactions payments dashboard profile assigned subscriber payments okay and we can also change the password change password okay and what other things we can do messages messages so we apply all these things in the trainer in this uh, trainer dashboard notifications okay currently we have created the notifications for all when admin add the notification uh, the subscriber can see that but uh, in uh, in the upcoming videos we will create the trainer notifications so when add the when admin add the notification in the uh, trainer uh, panel then it will show all the trainers so that we have created this notifications okay so and here we will also create the span tag one two three and let's say class float end okay and let's say badge and this will be background let's say info okay so here we have margin top one okay fine and similarly we will do this for notifications okay this thing okay so how many messages how many notifications trainer can see that okay and uh, if a trainer is logged in he can log out okay and here we need to also need to do one thing more we need to define the dashboard link in the base html file we should do this so here is the trainer logout and let's say we have a trainer dashboard okay so this will be trainer dashboard actually we don't need to add trainer thing you just need to add dashboard and logout okay so this will be dashboard trainer dashboard this will be logout okay and in the in the left sidebar you can simply say i have removed but i think we need that okay so here we i'll copy this and paste it here and i'll simply say if the trainer dashboard then active the class okay and we will do gradually when we apply the other things okay so here we have created the trainer dashboard and what we need to create in future that i have defined in the left side bar okay and in the trainer dashboard i will i will show uh, let's see what uh, what we need to show we when we will do that then we, we will manage these things okay now let's create the trainer profile so that uh, we can uh, trainer can manage the if he want to uh, change the things in the profile then he can change okay so <clears throat> let's uh, go to, let's create the profile settings so what we need to do the first thing we need to create trainer profile in this step we will do lots of things you will see okay so this is trainer profile we have created now the next thing is we will create trainer profile and this will be profile okay and uh, and uh, let's let's uh, one thing do more this is profile okay so when we are actually i am just uh, referring to the, the trainer login when we are logged in then we are saving that session data just boolean okay but i am going to save the actual trainer data so i will say trainer data and in this trainer data i will save this trainer instance okay and uh, for this we need to fetch this instance from this because we are fetching the counting 
but we need the data so i will get the first data or you can say because this filter will return multiple data okay actually it returns the list but we need actually one single uh, data so that i have i have defined first okay so this will be trainer and uh, in this uh, trainer we have uh, we are saving the data in the session currently we are logged in so we uh, don't have any trainer data but when we logged in uh, logged out and when we logged in again then we we can access this data okay so in the trainer profile we have this thing and uh, if you remember we have a trainer model so i will create form for the trainer model okay so let's open the i hope you are understanding what what we are doing okay so this is trainer login form and let's create the trainer profile form trainer profile form in the profile form we have these things and in the profile form username password we we will not give password and uh, trainer cannot change the profile also uh, sorry username also so i'll just simply say what things he can change models uh, so where is the trainer let's search so he can change the full name okay he can change the full name and uh, uh, in the other things let's say trainer profile and uh, oh, models a password mobile can change the mobile number okay and uh, address you can change the address okay and uh, he can change the detail if you want to change the detail you can change that okay he can change the image okay and not other things he just change these things okay and admin can admin can change all the things as well so this this is the profile uh, this is the a form now we will access this form in our view so form equal to this thing. okay and we will pass this form here okay so the form equal to form okay and this, the validation depends on the model we have defined in the model fields okay so everything is required field okay because if you don't want to require anything you don't want to define anything is not required then you have to put blank true okay so th currently this default will be the required thing okay so we have created this uh, uh, here is the profile and here we are passing the form now let's let's create the profile profile dot html and i'll copy the uh, you know that i'll copy the user this is the update profile i'll copy this copy pstt okay so this is the update profile this will be trailer okay and everything is all fine okay so this is uh, let's say profile and everything okay so now when we click on this profile okay when we need to define the link to the profile so i'll just copy this thing and paste it here and define profile okay so here we are calling the profile and similarly we will do this for active link okay and uh, here we will define oh now let's okay what it is saying uh, unknown specified let's let's restart the server and let's see okay working fine refresh the page so when we click on the profile so we have trainer profile form is not defined because you can guess because we need to define the forms dot whatever we want so we are it is trainer profile form this should be form start okay refresh the page so here you can see that full name mobile number address detail and whatever okay so currently i will pass <coughs> instance in this okay we will pass the instance so how we can get the instance now we need a trainer instance okay so how we can pass the trainer instance because we are updating the profile okay so how we can pass the trainer instance so see the flow when 
when lo uh, when trainer logged in then we are saving the trainer data in the session and here we will get the get the trainer data from the session okay and pass the instance here okay so let's let's try this so i will just log out this thing okay and log in here again ak whatever the password is object type trainer is not json serializable okay actually let's pass the where it is let's pass the trainer id only trainer dot id okay because we need to we need to serialize the data then we need to pass but actually we need just id and from the id we can create we can get the instance so see okay so let's get this session okay so i can get this session with the help of this uh, syntax so where it is profile yeah, okay. so this will be tid you can see trainer id okay and the trainer equal to models dot trainer dot objects dot get id equal to tid okay you understanding what we are doing fine okay now when we go to the profile so trainer object has no attribute get models dot trainer this, this equal to this and uh, we have this thing models dot trainer objects get so let's see uh -oh. Yeah. I refresh the page. Okay, so let's see what is the error is this. Okay, so the issue is we didn't pass here the instance keyboard. Okay, sometimes I didn't believe that I am doing these kind of mistakes. Okay, so instance equal to trainer. Okay, and when you refresh the page, uh, you will see the Data, uh, you will see the form with the field data okay okay so now we need to uh, a trainer can change this data and save the things okay so how he, he can save the things okay so let's go to the profile okay and here the first thing we need to do ink type because we are working with the uh, images so we need to perform this ink type okay and in the views, what we need to do in the views, uh, let's see, we will go to the views and here we have a trainer profile and here we are passing the form, okay. And uh, <clears throat> if we want to save the data, so if, if request dot method equal equal to post, okay, then what we will do, so here is a form okay and here we will pass request dot files request dot request dot post okay and the instance okay this kind of thing we need to pass when we are saving the data okay if you have only uh, if you are not working with image then uh, you can pass uh, request dot post okay so <clears throat> let's see that okay so let's save this data so we are here and uh, this files actually will be here it should be here so request post request files and instance okay and here we will say if form dot is valid if form dot is valid then we will save this form okay so form dot save method uh oh what to do form dot save okay so after saving this we will send the message so the message will be default none and after that we will say a uh, profile has been updated okay 
so let's see the code in action okay so let's see updated and so it is saying that local variable trainer reference before assignment local variable reference before assignment so this instance will be go here okay let's refresh the page go here what it is saying oh oh okay so it is saying that local variable trainer reference before assignment it means we are assigning the trainer here but we are getting the trainer after this actually we need this before the assignment okay so this kind of thing okay let's now update this so it is uh, here you can see that trainer one updated but it is not showing the message let's go to the profile and if message we are showing here the message but why not it, it is showing so let's go to the view and here we have a message and if form is valid save everything is working but it is not showing the message so if message it should show okay, let's take one another kind of thing save and where the message should let's add address testing and let's see okay let's see let's see why the message is not showing okay so message is not showing because here is we are not passing the message this is one more kind of very big mistake that we are doing not we are actually i am doing so edit it and profile has been updated so we have completed our both tasks we have created the dashboard we have uh, uh, we are we can uh, edit the profile okay so in the next upcoming videos actually we will actually in upcoming videos we will manage all the thing but the main thing that we, that is pending uh, is a uh, web sockets channels okay we need to implement messages and notification with the help of channels okay and we will do other things okay like uh, assigned subscriber payments we will complete all the things okay so i will request you to please uh, access all the videos okay because i am uh, if you, you can understand only uh, you can understand this project when you, you when you will watch the video serial wise okay and uh, i hope you are enjoying this series and uh, if you are enjoying this series and please hit the subscribe and like button and if you have any query any doubt then please add in the comment section okay so it's time to say that uh, thank you so much for watch watching this video thank you so much and please access this playlist and uh, you will learn lots of things about the django okay and uh, after that after this project i will must create the erp system okay and hopefully i will try to create uh, the bigger than this project okay the next one is so thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.